Hey everybody, Alex Kazora, SteelersDepot.com, back with some more Pittsburgh Steelers tape breakdown and analysis, going through all 22 videos of each of the Pittsburgh Steelers draft picks. I've done ones already on Zach Frazier, Troy Fautanu. Let's talk about Peyton Wilson, the third round pick, inside linebacker from NC State. And my favorite trait of his is his speed, pursuit, closing speed. It's all really fun to watch. We're going to go through examples today. Before we start, if you guys could like this video, subscribe to the channel, and check out the site SteelersDepot.com, would really appreciate that. So we're going to go through a bunch of clips on Peyton Wilson, focusing less on nitty-gritty X's and O's as we did with our previous videos. It's a little obvious, but just that 4-4-3 speed translates on tape, the angles, finding the football, all really positive from Peyton Wilson. So clip here against Notre Dame. There he is in the middle and just chasing from one hash to the other. The running back out in the flat here to make this tackle out in space after the back. And broken a couple, finishing this one off. I mean, the back was going to stumble and fall, uh, you know, had Wilson not been there. But you just still see that chase across. He's not going to loaf despite the ball being thrown away from him. A relatively low chance of making the play here. A bunch of teammates in position to make the play. You see him full go and then finish with a tackle. This clip made the rounds on Twitter, I believe, before and right after Wilson was drafted. So you may have seen this one before. And we're not excited to be talking about a you know chunk play for the opposing team here. You hopefully don't have any instances of these. But just watching Wilson hawk down this receiver, breaking tackles in space to prevent this play from being any more than what it was. I mean, you just see him turn on the Jets here to catch a, a receiver like that. Uh, that shows you that he plays to his time of 4-4-3. You don't see a lot of linebackers do that. I'm not calling him Patrick Willis, but I know Patrick Willis did that throughout his day. Kind of a similar vibe on this play. And quickly, I'll take you guys through the aerial view of this play as well to kind of get a sense of the speed. You see the arrow pointing Wilson. He's underneath zone coverage and just turns on the Jets, makes this tackle, probably saves a touchdown. New game here versus Louisville. There is uh, Wilson on the edge as the right outside linebacker. He played a lot more on the edge than what I expected before I turned on the tape of his. But again, just watching him run sideline to sideline to chase this quarterback down, run him and tackle him out of bounds. You just see this guy play with great effort, great pursuit, and the speed overall athleticism to match. We'll take a look from the aerial view. There is Wilson uh, on the edge dropping into coverage, and then a good angle, take down this quarterback across the field before he can pick up the first down. That's a big-time play. Looking at Wilson as a pass rusher, 15 sacks in his career, and you see the closing speed here. It's not the sideline to sideline chase, but he's able to kind of get skinny through the gap and then just finish, take this quarterback down. I believe they ruled him down there to not uh, allow that kind of throwaway completion attempt, but just seeing the closing speed, the burst, uh, Pittsburgh likes to blitz her off ball guys. Haven't really had that guy that can do that since Vince Williams. I think Wilson can be that guy. So a little example of that athleticism, that closing speed, and finishing the play. This play later versus Louisville reminds me a lot of the Notre Dame play we just showed that, again, I think got talked about a ton on Twitter. This one might be even more impressive in terms of just the pursuit and yardage she had to gain and the strain, strain and effort in which she showed. Now, he kind of loses the ball here on this trick play from Louisville. I thought maybe in space and coverage, there were some times where Wilson would take the cheese and has to work on that a little bit. But uh, just watching, I mean, he's not even in frame until the very end. And he's the guy who makes his tackle. Again, not excited to be talking about a play where it's a big gain, big chunk uh, yardage for the offense. And you hope to limit those. But we're just focusing on the traits and tools and, and the speed, the closing ability, and really, above all else, the effort, the motor. Uh, there was a coach, I think, that played against them in the ACC that called him relentless, and I believe that's the optimal word to describe Peyton Wilson, who's, I believe, right here on the snap of this ball, and you're seeing this reverse pitch back to the quarterback. Fun play overall, but, I mean, you know, this is where Wilson is at when this ball is caught, and then he ends up slipping I know the running back has to kind of weave through traffic a bit, but still, I mean, he is nowhere, you know, near the ball until the very end. It was a great angle. I think his pursuit angles, you know, just in terms of traditional uh, run defense and then also out downfield, out in space are excellent. I mean, it's a great angle to the ball here. And you just see the the speed, the pursuit and the, and the want to of I'm not going to give up on the play. I'm not going to assume or just let a teammate make the play. I want to make the play. 
and he does here. And again, preventing a really positive play for the offense and being an even better one, potentially a touchdown. I don't know what the the math is on how much how many yards he you know covered here, but it was a ton. And uh, to see that play, uh, I think speaks a lot about his football character. Two more clips, both against Virginia from 2023. Here he is basically as a spy zone coverage. You're playing AFC North. You're playing the NFL today. So many mobile athletic quarterbacks may not even always spy a Lamar Jackson uh, or somebody like that, but you better be able to tackle some of these quarterbacks in space and match their athleticism. And you're watching Wilson, you know, mirror movements and then just close and finish. Now, this is not Lamar Jackson. I'm sure that, you know, this guy, whoever this quarterback is, is not as athletic as Lamar and the other, you know, top quarterbacks in football, but still point being just match him in zone coverage and then close, finish, and, and take him down. So this is not, again, the pursuit necessarily aspect like the other clips, but just watching his fluidity and then just closing that gap there at the very end to finish that play. Last example, again, coming across the field, working hash to hash. Here he is on the right side. Quarterback flushes, rolls to his right. Wilson, good angle across the field, outruns everybody and forces chasing the quarterback out of bounds, taking a good angle to the football, good vision, I think in terms of playing downhill, run defense, these type of situations, he does a nice job of, of keying and finding the ball. His height helps, being almost 6'4", in an era where linebackers are typically 6'1", or so, they can't see you know over top of people as easily. I think that certainly gives Wilson an advantage, but... You can't teach the speed that he has. It's 4-4-3. And some guys run 4-4, and they don't play like that. Devin Bush was a guy that ran fast on paper, good athlete on the football field, not as athletic overall. Wilson, to me, the time speed, the game speed match up, and you just see these kind of plays. Again, it's effort, but it's the speed as well. I can be the most effort player in the world. I promise you I'm not going to cover the ground that Peyton Wilson does, and I see that routinely on his tape. So those are my thoughts on Peyton Wilson. His best trait is that athleticism, the closing speed, but it's a well-rounded game overall. And health issues aside, it's why he fell to 98. It's a really talented player, and Pittsburgh certainly got fantastic value. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate you guys watching. Again, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and check out the site, SteelersDepot.com. Thank you again, and we'll talk to you soon.